Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick video kind of just explaining what my DAISY local PC server is all about for people who weren't really familiar with the concept. So this of course is the DAISY PC launcher. Uh, I'm in the server section and you know I can go on lots and lots of different local, uh, lots and lots of different um, official servers. We've got all these um, hundreds, if not thousands, of community servers we can join as well that will appear. And look at this. So if we go to LAN, so local area network, here's another server. So this is this is my server that is running on the same PC that is running on my uh, running my copy of DayZ. Kind of this is kind of a bit of it, and this is kind of the code running here. Um, let's see if I can make this bigger so you can see it. There we go. So all these all these things are happening, spawning in and out. That's like the log of the stuff that's happening. So normally, when you play Daisy on your PC or on your console, it fires up Daisy, the Daisy um, game, and then the way that it actually plays is by going to a remote server in the internet. But if you go to Steam and you've got to own a copy of Daisy for this, you can download Daisy server. You don't launch it from it, but you can load download daisy server and you end up with something like this now what i'll do is in the description below this video i will put a, a link to a video that i've done about how to install a local daisy server and once you've got this set up this is the server with all the server files you, you double click something called the windows batch file which fires it up and tells it how to start and that's when you then have the ability to then join that local server. Now, this is just for you. It isn't really for anybody else. It's just for you on your local PC. But the beauty of a local server is that compared to offline mode, which you may well be aware of, this is this is a fully fledged server. So it saves your progress as you go along. Um, and you can install uh, mods on it as well. So as you can see here, so there's CF, there's DBO Raptors, Red Falcon Flight Systems, Heli, Zombie Admin Tools. We can have all these things running on the server. And here's the missions folder as well. So we've got Chernerus, we can have Enoch, we can have any of the um, any of the available Steam modded maps as well. And here we have all the XMLs. So you can go in and you can try changes to XMLs. Um, and then what you have there is you have the storage folder as well, storage underscore one. So if you delete that, it wipes the server and you can just start again and it gives you a very very quick way of being able to check um, how mods work um, learning mods um, seeing if mods are compatible pl just playing single player daisy in a situation that you can completely control because there's nobody else on the server apart from you um, and you can try out try out different things it's very very powerful tool now I'm doing this actually on my Shadow Cloud gaming PC. So I don't have a proper gaming PC. I just have an old eight-year-old laptop that can't even run Solitaire very well. So I have a Shadow Cloud gaming PC, which is in the cloud, which is like a... But it's not that powerful. But it Daisy doesn't need that many resources to run. And it means that it can run that. It can run Daisy, and it can run the, the, the local server um, very, very well indeed. And you can also have things like... so. There's Daisy the game. There's Daisy server. And you can even download the, the experimental version of Daisy as well. Daisy server. So we've got Daisy experimental server. So when you run Daisy experimental, you can have a local experimental server as well. And it is a very very powerful tool for that because if you've ever done any modding with Daisy um, on console on PC, you'll know that you know you'll change something maybe you'll change the types of the events to xml and then you upload the files to your remote server and then you log in and you have a look around there's all this all these delays that happen and then maybe it didn't work so you've got to restart the server but when it's on a local server it i mean it's not instant but it's much much faster than it would would otherwise be so there we go that is um a daisy local server highly recommend it for anybody who's got well any sort of PC that can run DayZ, you can probably run a local server as well. It comes free with DayZ um, in your Steam library. Just make sure you've got tools ticked as well. And as I say, ha have a look at that video that I put in the description below this video so that you can see how to install one. Um, and it gives you a really good tool for content creation, playing single-player DayZ, testing mods, practicing installing mods, seeing if your installs work properly, and generally doing lots of things in a much quicker way than having to work with a remote remote um, 
with a remote server. So there we go. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.